When I travel, I feel a sense of freedom, a level of confidence that I've never experienced before. And every time you go to a new place, you learn something different. You become whoever you want to become. As much as there are stamps on your passport, there are stamps on your character too. My name is Z Donya Pegot. I'm from Barbados. It's my first time traveling to Puerto Rico, and I'm excited to explore the queer community here. I'm an entrepreneur, an LGBT advocate, and I am the founder of Pink Coconuts. Pink Coconuts is a platform connecting people with queer-friendly spaces so that LGBT travelers can feel comfortable and find community. Growing up in Barbados, community was really, really important as a queer person. I had a fear of not being accepted. And the idea behind Pink Coconuts has to do with creating inclusive societies. When I travel for Pink Coconuts, I find LGBT-friendly businesses, bars, restaurants, just cool hangout spots and put some QR code to expand it and try to find connections. It connects LGBT people with each other. They scan the code, they find people to meet, and then they come back here to meet those people. Well, this is a yeah. straight friendly bar. That's, straight, how, that's, how, that's how the owner calls it. A straight yeah. friendly bar, I love that. That's what we call a pink coconut. A queer friendly space in any given destination. I'm going on a tour with Antonio, a local LGBT tour guide. Okay guys, welcome, welcome to San Juan. I'm Antonio, I'll be your host today. We're gonna see the city from a queer point of view. Antonio, for me, is a symbol of solidarity, even across waters, and sharing the experience. That's what community is about. We're just trying to open doors, claim our space, the right to be here. You can feel as though if you're out, that you will be, you know, ostracized. Connection and community is really what drives that fear away. When I was growing up, I remember fighting feelings of queerness. There was a real fear that I would just be alone. And I would never build a family, find real love. I've experienced a number of things from sexual harassment and verbal abuse and homophobic slurs, like so many things. And to interface with that for years is difficult. And it really messed with my self-confidence. There was a struggle on whether I could truly be myself and be happy. It's difficult, but I would rather be who I am and be ostracized than to hide and be comfortable. I knew that I needed a set of people around me who would make me feel safe, I would feel supported, and I could be myself. That's why I started an LGBT organization, and just when it really started to travel and all of these things, it made me feel so, so, so included. It's been a journey, and it's not often that you have time to sit back and reflect, but I've come a really long way. I just feel grateful for the experiences that have shaped me. You have to be visible, you have to be willing to share your story. It moves the needle, and going forward, I'll support other queer people so that the world will be a more inclusive place. So I had the idea for Pink Coconuts and joined this social entrepreneurship incubator in Boulder. People from different parts of the world, I felt very accepted there. Going to Boulder, that's when I started to like really break out. And that did a lot for me. It was just refreshing to just be able to be myself. Pink Coconuts helps me get out of my bubble. By meeting new people, it helps me make friends and to find community. I started to dress how I wanted to, and then I started to embody a level of confidence. I think I embody both very masculine and feminine qualities. And that's where my name, Z, kind of emerged. And Z kind of pulls it together. Yeah, it's neither she or he, Z. <laughs> 
So travel has done a lot for my self-love journey and been the catalyst for change. Personally, Pink Coconuts is very close to my heart because I recognize the transformative power of community. Lambra? Nice to meet you. You get a real sense of the queer community by connecting with people. And when you travel, you have that freedom to connect authentically. You find people who make you feel comfortable and then it starts to shape the world. Connecting with people and sharing the experience. That's what community is about.